Hi, my name is Tim Wemple. I'm a landscape photographer from Joplin, Missouri, and I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. I look forward to teaching you how to use Photoshop and Lightroom to achieve your creative goals. So let's get started. Okay, we're uh, back to our um, sun rays here. We've got one more step to finish this off to make it look a little bit more realistic. And what we're going to do is add some highlights here to our landscape, to our land and tree to make it look like the sun is shining on it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to create a new layer on top. We're going to set that blending mode there to something called color dodge. And then we're going to take our eyedropper tool over here and we're just going to sample a color. One of the, try to find one of the uh, brightest highlights in your image and just take a sample of it. What you see there, it puts it your foreground color. Now if you click on the that, it'll bring up your color picker. And all we're going to do is we want this to be a lot darker. So just bring it straight down from there. Make it something like a really dark brown there. And then click OK. And that's kind of the uh, tip here is when you're painting in the color dodge, you want the color to be really dark, but it's going to show up as a, a nice bright color here. Let's take our brush size down, and we're going to brush along this tree here to add some highlights to it. So let's zoom in here a little, and then we'll just go right along the edge here. And as you can see, it just kind of makes it look like the sun just shining right on the edge of the tree there. Okay, and I got a very soft brush set at 51 uh, percent opacity right now. So let's take that. I want to add another layer here, and we're going to add some more of those highlights, but we're going to do it in kind of a bigger, broader stroke here. So we're going to go back to Color Dodge, and this time I'm going to use the same color, this kind of a dark brownish green color, but I'm going to increase my brush size quite a bit here. Let's go up to, it's a little bit too big, so about maybe, let's take it to that 1700. It's just, you can come up here on your size. I'm using a mouse, so I'm just going to scrub over here and let's get this down to probably about a thousand or thereabouts okay and I know there's lots of other ways of doing that and I'm just uh, I don't know for some reason this is just the way I've always done it so okay let's try that we're just going to click here basically where we think that the sun rays might be hitting this landscape and what we're doing now is we're just trying to add a little variety add some contrast in here all right I think that's good now I want to uh, warm this all up where this sun rays coming through here so I'm going to go to our gradient fill that we started out with um, at the very beginning of the sun rays tutorial I'm going to click on that and we are going to this time instead of the um, the radio we're going to go to or instead of the angle that we use to make the sun rays, we're going to go to radial. And we're going to move that right up there where our sun's at. We're going to click on our gradient. And if you click on this kind of orange-yellow here, we get something that looks like that. Not exactly what we want. And let's see. 
if we just take that middle slider and scoot it all the way to the left, we're getting this kind of big, bright, orange, yellow sunburst here. And we're going to click OK. OK, I know it doesn't look very good now, but here's where the magic comes in. We're going to take our blend mode and we're going to go down to soft light. And then we're going to take the opacity down to something like that. I'm just kind of looking at the highlights now because we're going to mask this out of the shadows here. Okay. Now let's go back to our channels here. Remember I said that channels are where we store things, uh, selections and masks in the in the first or in the, or the second part of this tutorial. Well, there's a way to apply those channels to our masks here. We're going to click on the mask and we're going to come up to image and we're going to come down to apply image. And that's kind of a scary uh, dialog box here that comes up. And it's, but it's really very simple. All we're doing is we're applying one of those channels to our layer mask here. And we're just going to leave everything just like it is here. Click OK. And I'm going to Alt click on our mask so you can see what it looks like. So basically we took one of our channels back here, or actually we just, we took the RBG channel that was converted into a grayscale image and we loaded it as our mask. And remember that black conceals everything that's going on here and white reveals. So we've got this sunburst being revealed on the highlights and hidden on the shadows. So let's alt click back on our mask here to get back to where we can see. And it's cut it back so far now that we might want to try and increase it a little bit. And let's see a before and after. Just kind of warms things up. We might click back on our mask here and let me show you how we can change this a little bit. You can actually go in and do uh, adjustments to your mask with things like levels and curves and brightness and all that. Let's go into levels here. And we're going to make the blacks blacker by taking this over. And watch what's happening over here. We're getting darker. And if we move this one over, the whites are getting wider. Okay, let's take a look at that. All right, I might take the opacity now down, down just a little bit because we're letting more of that show through on the highlights and less of it on the shadows. So let's say something like that. You can also go between overlay. I think overlay is going to be just a little bit too much here. Yeah, let's go back to soft light. And basically what we're trying to accomplish here is we just want to add a little bit more of that yellowish glow in the highlights that we did with our other color dodge. Okay, we're going to leave it at that. Now, there's one more thing that I would like to do. That is to take a curves levels here. Let's open that up. And I'm going to turn the lights down on this whole thing by taking this bottom slider and moving it to the left. And you can see that just kind of darkens everything up, turns, basically you can use this to kind of turn the lights down on your picture. I'm going to go down to about there. Then I'm going to invert this mask and you can do that by coming up here and coming down to invert or using control I and that hides everything that we've just it's think of it like turning the lights off on that layer when you turn the lights off you can't see anything that's happening uh, so we need to add some light in here so we can see what's going on 
And what we're going to do with this layer is just, again, add a little bit of contrast. So we're going to go on the, the back side of this log here and paint with black to darken this up a little bit. So we're just coming in here and adding a little bit more contrast to our landscape here. Okay, just going in where the sun's not hitting and just darkening that up just a bit. Okay, and then I'm just going to do a, a Gaussian blur on that just so we can't see the edges of where I was at here. Just kind of blend it in just a little bit more. Okay, and I'm actually going to take this. I don't want it to affect our sun rays, so I'm going to take it and drag it all the way down below our sun rays here. So let's take a look at what that does. Just adds a little bit more contrast. Okay, and one last thing. I want to add another layer. I want to go to white here. And let's go back up to about there. And just give that a couple of dabs again, a couple of clicks. All right, that's our sun rays. This is part three. Um, make sure you go back and watch the one on the gradient fill to get the sun rays and then the channels to kind of direct where we're going to put those sun rays. And then this final one here, we've gone back in and done some final retouches to make it look a little bit more realistic. All righty, I hope that helped. Thanks. Uh, make sure and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, I hope that helped you out. Make sure and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have a lot more videos coming up on doing all kinds of things with the landscape photography. Thanks for coming by. Again, make sure and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.